Hi there, and I've just been New Year's Day Lego shopping, but this time at the Lego store in Disneyland Paris. So a few months ago, Mrs. Minifig Jez decided that we should spend New Year at Disneyland Paris. So on the 28th of December, we got up exceptionally early, as you can see here, and put our car on the Channel Tunnel Le Shuttle and whizzed across over to France and got to Paris by 10 o'clock in the morning. Now, if any of you guys are outside the UK and are unfamiliar with the Channel Tunnel, basically you can either jump on a passenger train or put your car on the shuttle and the train whizzes you over to France in 35 minutes instead of spending hours on a ferry. Now, we stayed in the Disneyland New York Hotel, which, if you like Marvel, is exceptionally cool and it has lots of Marvel stuff absolutely everywhere around the hotel. So after spending some really good fun days in the parks and enjoying the fabulous New Year's celebration, of course, January the 1st means lots of Lego releases. Now the Lego store in the Disney Village is pretty big. It's not quite as big as the Leicester Square store where I was on New Year's Day last year, but it has an awful lot of Lego mosaics on display. Now in the UK, every Lego store has a pick and build wall. But obviously, as this was France, they didn't have a pick and build. They had a choisi et construit wall, which if you don't speak French, obviously means pick and build or choose and construct. Now, unlike every other pick and build wall I've ever seen, this one wasn't against a wall. It was freestanding in the middle of the shop and it also has a very random shape. But the really cool thing was you could walk through the middle of it and they also had bins of Lego on the other side. But just like every other pick and build wall, the choice of Lego only went up to about eye height and then the bins above that just had pictures of Lego in them. They also had a minifig factory where you can design and print your own minifigure, but I'm going to show you that in my next video, so please come back and see what classic French minifigure I made. But obviously the main reason that I was there was the January the 1st releases and the ones that I was most interested in are the new space themes which LEGO have branded like this with a silver strip down the side and it has a classic space logo right at the top. And if you've watched any of my previous videos you may notice that this is the same branding that appeared on the leaked image of the space collectible minifig series which is coming out in May. I'm presuming this is going to be a very popular sub theme as they have the entire range of space sets. So first is the space construction mech, then the interstellar spaceship, the 4 plus set in the theme is called Spaceship and Asteroid Discovery. Next, going up in size, we've got Space Explorer Rover and Alien Life. Then the really cool looking eight-wheeled Command Rover and Crane Loader. And then next to largest, there's the Space Base and Rocket Launch Pad. And then the flagship set of the theme, the Modular Space Station. Now I wanted a good selection of the new space minifigures, so I've got the three smaller sets, the Space Construction Mech, the Interstellar Spaceship, and the Spaceship and Asteroid Discovery set. And we'll take a close look at those in a minute. Looking around the other city sets, the ones that really caught my eye for 2024 is the new Fire fire station with fire engine set and I really liked the sloped front of this building with the large up and over doors. Now I normally don't go a bundle on the police sub theme that LEGO release each year but this year I really do like the police prison island set that they've released. Now having a prison on an island obviously gives it that Alcatraz kind of vibe and I love that it's in shark infested water so none of the prisoners managed to swim back to LEGO City. And they're keeping the police theme on the water this year as the Crooks hideout is on the water too. As you can see in this set police speedboat and Crooks hideout. And then as I was about to leave the LEGO City wall the cool new burger van caught my eye and we've had a pizza van an ice cream van a slushy van so i thought i should get the burger van to go with it especially as it's got this cool brick built burger on the back now on their pab wall or as it's in french we should now call it their cnc wall they've changed from having plastic cuts to the new cardboard boxes and this is the first time i've seen this i was actually at this shop back in may and they still had the plastic cups then so this is a relatively new change for them just like the cups the box come in two sizes but they're much easier to pack with regular bricks as obviously they're square they didn't have any outstanding parts on the wall but i did get myself a few 1x8 gray arches some 2x2 two two curved black slopes which I find are really good for train carriage roofs and then I filled up the gaps with some classic leaf pieces and then filled up the even smaller gaps with some brown twig pieces and ended up with a nicely full box and then I finally did go and check out and on the counter as it was January the 1st they had some series 25 collectible minifigures so I thought I'd grab two of those I haven't opened them yet so I'll open them up in a minute and we'll see which two I got now as we were in Disneyland I thought we really should buy some sort of Disney Lego set and I saw the Peter Pan and Wendy's flight set was actually on sale at the Lego store and I really like how they've done the forced perspective on this set so you've got the tiny houses and river down here getting to larger house here and then obviously the Big Ben you get Peter Pan Tinkerbell on Wendy and this is the first time we've had Wendy as a minifigure but onto the space sets now you probably know that classic Lego spacemen all came in a variety of colors and on my channel there are quite a lot of videos about the different colors of classic spacemen so with the new space sub theme I was really pleased that not only do the astronauts actually have a classic space logo on their torso they also come in different colors 
colours. So in the interstellar spaceship set, you can see that our astronaut has got navy blue helmet and also navy blue arms. And there's a better picture of them on the back here with some sort of jetpack. I love the sleek design of this spaceship. And there's also a play feature where the back opens up. Now in the space construction mech, it looks like the astronaut's helmet and arms are in the new flamish yellow colour. And looking on the back, as well as the torso that they all seem to have, he's also got some kind of body armour, which also has the classic space logo on it. So that's navy blue and yellow. And the four plus set gives us two more. Flying the spaceship, we've got an astronaut in regular blue. And then on the ground, we've got one in green. I think you get quite a lot for your money in this set. We also get this ground station and a robot arm opening up rocks and finding space jewels inside. And we even get a little lime green alien. Now being a four plus set, this spaceship is going to be a very simple build, but obviously the two astronauts and the alien definitely make up for it. So once you a good selection of the new astronauts by buying these three smaller sets, I've got four different colours of the new astronaut. If I bought one of the larger sets, I would have spent more money and I wouldn't have got as good variety of coloured spacemen. And like I said, a little bit of an impulse purchase, I got the burger van and I really like the black colour scheme of this van with the flame sticker piece down here. And as you can see, the van sells absolutely massive burgers. When I bought the set, I didn't actually look at the back of the box, so I didn't realise that that giant brick built burger comes off and is a standalone burger stand. So after the ice cream and the slushy van that we've had in the last few years, I think this is a great addition to this series of themed food vans that Lego seems to be giving us. And so here's my new box of Lego pieces compared to the cups that you used to get. And I'm just going to quickly open this up, pour it into the cup and see how much we get in equivalent sizes. So I've poured all the loose parts into the cup and that is completely full to the brim. And I've also still got all the brick arches that I joined together with these black plates still to fit in. There's no way that I'll actually fit those into this cup. So by my reckoning, I think we're going to get more for our money in the boxes than we used to in our cups. Also, if you're buying regular square shaped bricks, it's going to be a lot easier to pack the box. So the last thing to do is open up my two Series 25 minifigures and see which I've got. And the first one is the Pet Groomer. Now I love Lego animals and we've got a brand new dog for this series. I am actually got a complete set of these on order, but I just thought I'd get a couple to see what I got. And so I'm really pleased I've got an extra dog. And the second one is, this is the Film Noir Detective. And he's got a magnifying glass and what I presume is a red herring. So not one of my favorites, not one that I particularly want a duplicate of, but quite cool to get the fish in a red color, which I don't think I've got already. So that's my little French New Year's Day haul. Let me know in the comments below which 2024 sets you're most looking forward to. I'll show these space sets built in a later video. And like I said, my next video will show you the minifigure that I made in the French Lego minifig factory. If you've liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And of course, please subscribe for more Lego videos.